I don't care what you say. He looks nothing like me. <coughs> Two speakers that do look a little bit like each other. Suspiciously like each other. We've got the Sony XB23, rarely spoken of on this channel. Maybe we'll find out why later. And the Huawei, who don't seem to know how to spell the name because that's clearly Huawei. Huawei. Pronounced Huawei. Well-known Chinese company. And a speaker that a lot of people out there are liking. The Sound Joy. I mean, they're not beating about the bush. They're not calling it the, it's the Huawei little bit okay. The Huawei you may like this. It's the Huawei Sound Joy. Happy Thanksgiving. They're putting it right out there saying, you're gonna get joy from this speaker. Well, I did review it in my first video against the Motion Plus. Oh, it didn't come off that well, in my personal opinion. Whatever I say, people are gonna say they like it. But in my personal opinion, it's all about my personal opinions. I can do better. And for me, with all the reference points I've got, this is a bright sounding speaker that lacks a bit of bass, but sounds okay below 50%. But hey ho, look at these two speakers. Well, they have both gone for the cutout grill on the bottom, which means the passive radiators that they both have on each side can live and breathe even when you put them like that. Now, Sony, they're not holding back anything here. They're putting their name like that, so, so it don't work like that. Saying, yeah, we pretty much think you're gonna be listening like that. I think you're gonna listen to this like that as well. But there, but there, but there, but there, but there. They're hedging their bets because, and it says one way, if you do it like that, we did like that. But two speakers that look the same, similar design, going to do them against each other because they're similar prices. Different when I lost about 90 quid for the sound, joy, 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 joy. 80 quid, $108 for the Sony Extra Bass 23. But the driver configuration is not the same. We've got a woofer, woofer, passive, passive. We've got four range driver. Four range driver is not a woofer, let's remember that. Alongside a tweeter. So no crossover to worry about, just meaty old bass and helped a bit with a bit more from the tweeter for the high end, but no crossover. So mono, two woofers, stereo, both to be played like that. Gonna make it an about the same price, similar design, cutouts at the bottom. That's an interesting comparison. Don't forget, this has the, the most mega lights you've ever seen. Well, it's a bit around the top there, you can see it. If you've got it like that, you might not see it at all, but hey ho, you can shake it. Like that. Have a lot of fun, because if you've got two of them and you're doing that, they'll pair up in stereo. The major, major standout about the sound joy, you may not have seen my first video and have no idea what I'm talking about, is De Valier, De Valier, co-engineered by De Valier, De Valier tuning. What's that all about? Well, De Valier have a system called SAM. They will measure all the characteristics of each driver. They know exactly what the limits of that driver are and what they do at different volumes, at different loudness. And then they can EQ it with their technology to have a deeper bass in theory keep the drivers in time because they know exactly what the excursion is going to be, keep them within limits, reduce uh, timing error, phase distortion, blah, 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 lots of lovely things on paper like that. But all it really matters is what does it sound like? I did go over the pluses and minuses of what they're talking about in terms of that technology in the original video against the Motion Plus. Suffice to say, budget Bluetooth speakers may not give the same result as the same technology on high-end, highly engineered, uh, transducers if you want, drivers, speakers, whatever you want to call them. They may have Devalier technology on the Huawei, oh, we but are. do you know what? They've got X-Balanced drivers on the Sony XB23. What's X-Balanced mean, Alan? Well, it means they're, they're, they're putting, a, they're getting a little bit more surface area out of the same size enclosure than they would if they were si simply uh, rounded drivers. So not a rounded driver, but it's a bit oval shaped, but then straight on one side. Look, they've they've elongate, el elongated uh, the driver, calling it some special name, as though something magic has happened. But we've got oval racetrack, we've got oval on both sides, oval racetrack, go very, very fast. Woofer on the 
Huawei we sound joy. All that really matters at the end of the day is. I was just checking which speaker I had to me had, because they are that similar. And I know one is taller than the other, but when they're both the same colour, they are quite similar. If you're looking at the wrong side and doesn't say Sony, let's have a listen to them around 50% volume. Are we back to the start? I can play the game, but I'm falling again. No, don't hold back. Take it far. Promise you the same. Let the pleasure be. Around 55% volume, 250 hertz and down. It's a massive advantage to the sound joy. It's complete lack of bass on the Sony XB23. All its bass is 250 hertz to 300 hertz. That's it. It's then pushed in the mids and is actually rolling off from about 7 kilohertz. So it's got more bass on the sound joy, more controlled mids on the sound joy, but it has a big push at the high end. There are moments in your life that I call the WTF moment. What the f was that? And it's like, what just happened? Because when I compare the Huawei Soundjoy with the Sony XB23, the Soundjoy actually sounds quite decent. For the Sony XB23 to make the Soundjoy sound quite joy, decent, joy. <laughs> doesn't say a lot for the Sony XB23. The best thing I can say about the Sony XB23 is it makes the Soundjoy sound pretty good. Now, what is going on? I mean, we've got nearly six decibels more bass on the sound joy. It's not a bass heavy speaker, and yet there's a complete lack of bass um, at all on the Sony XB23, along with some really big highs, which is not helping its balance at all. When I say highs, I mean, it's actually rolling off in what we would call the highs, but that, so, that clarity is coming from the mids and indeed the presence region, and then it's rolling off. Uh, that's just the reason why you don't see the XB23 very often on my channel. I think this may be <laughs> only the second, only uh, not since, not seen since uh, 2020, I think. I don't know when it came out. Maybe it comes alive at louder volumes. What do you think? Mm. Well, we'll give it a go. About 75% volume. <laughs> Oh, 
75% volume, same story as lower volumes, complete lack of bass on the Sony XB23. Soundjoy is not overly endowed in the bass department, but it certainly seems so against the Sony XB23 all the way from 250Hz down. It's a big, big advantage to the Soundjoy. And again, strong in the mids for the Sony XB23, and the Soundjoy has a big push at the high end, but neither of these speakers does deep bass. I'm not saying either of these are great listen, but hang on a second. You're right, it's only 75% volume, it's rolling off its highs, it's rolling off its bass from 250 hertz. Well, <laughs> that means no bass. Uh, at least while I wait, I wait until about 100 hertz. You know, about the start of mid bass at best, before they're rolling off. So, almost an absolute boombox compared to the XB23, but in reality, for me, not a great listen, especially at these louder volumes. But it, if you're tr trying to choose a speaker with these, with this kind of a look configuration, choosing between these two speakers, similar price, like, clearly it's the Huawei oh, uh, Sound Joy. Joy, 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 Joy. Joy. Don't like the tuning all that at all. Very strong mids, no bass, just doesn't sound good. We're gonna see what happens when we go to maximum volume. If you've already seen my earlier video on the Huawei oh, Sound Joy, you'll know. Joy, Joy. Got three modes, voice mode, hi-fi mode, Devalier mode, and yet they sell it on the basis of, 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 basis of Devalier mode, and I think default mode is hi-fi hi mode, and how is hi-fi not Devalier? <laughs> I don't know, maybe Devalier should be asking, what, what's going on there? You're not calling this a hi-fi mode? Hello, Huawei, Devalier here. How on earth are we not a hi-fi mode? It's supposed, it's supposed to be, you know, top-notch. Extending the bass deeper and, and the upper bass becomes more accurate and we got phase distortion is gone and blah, blah. And yet, nah, well, if you want a hi-fi mode, we've got to switch that off. So, maximum volume. Does anything magic happen with any of these? And why did I just say about the different modes? It's because the loudest mode is indeed the hi-fi mode. So I'm going to use the hi-fi mode against the Sony XP23 on maximum volume. Oh, what you know about constantly grinding on with the team? What you know about losing your sleep just for a dream? What you know about making some waves up in the scene? Cause I'm the one that's doing it, well, y'all just make a scene. Y'all make a scene like this, should not be seen like this, ain't really proper. But I'm rising all above and I'm flying like I'm a chopper. Cause I'm gonna get it popping, yes, I gotta get it rocking. While the people always tell me that I've been really nothing, but I proved them, I proved them wrong, yeah. Yes, I've been me, duh, and I've been strong, yeah. And you will see that, oh, I've been on, yeah. Mission, I've been really wrapping up, up to the top, yeah. hey, to the top in this lane, yeah, I ain't making work. Yes, I just know my effort, I know my worth, and I just know I'm next, yeah, I ain't know that I deserve everything I'm getting. So I will make it work, I will make it work, but I will get it, and I ain't gonna go panic, cause I am not like a breast, but I'm not so dramatic, and y'all just don't get it, man, that's what it is. Ultimately, Sony XB23 goes louder. It goes louder by just under a decibel, a decibel and a half in terms of peak, but you're gonna to have to live without any bass at all. Nothing from 300 hertz down, whereas you do get some bass remaining on the Sound Joy. It has a big dip around the five kilohertz mark. It's big enough that you're going to notice, and then a bit of a peak at the high end. So XB23 goes louder, but not a great listen. So XB23 goes louder. Is that anything magic? No. They're both rated around, well, 20 watts versus 30 watts. But no bass, you can go louder because you can push the mids and highs louder. This, well, I'm not saying there's much bass, but there's more bass on the, on the uh, Huawei sound joint. No, I don't have another one to pair with you. So the XB23, it sounds, just sounds thin. Not a great listen. I mean, hi-fi mode is not the controlled mode. If you use the Valier mode, it won't go that loud. In hi-fi mode, there is a little bit of distortion going on. You'll hear that as a little bit of gurgling. Uh, but that's what, hi-fi mode, if you want to go louder, that's what you're going to get. I'm playing this plus six decibels, all explained in my earlier video on the sound joy. joy, joy. Gain plus six, Devalier mode, and unless you want maximum volume, is the balance mode, and that's the best way, to, and it's at its best balance with gain plus six dB. But 
you don't get a gain of 6 dB. And that's just absolute nonsense. But it's worth putting it at plus 6 dB for reasons I have previously mentioned. I don't EQ the Sony XB23 because it makes absolutely very little difference and wasn't worth the time or effort. You can see my first video on that. Well, that is clearly explained before you come on my comments and say, well, you ain't queued one and you ain't EQ'd the other. And that doesn't add up to EQ. What they call plus six in the bass is taking a little bit, shh, a little bit off the highs, a little bit added to the bass. That's what they're calling a gain. It's very little actually, but it, it didn't work at all uh, when I tried to EQ the Sony XB23. And you're like, oh, when I EQ it, it's a middle, well, brilliant. good for you. But this is my channel. I keep telling you, my channel, my opinion, I'll do and say what I want. And just to quickly go over the specs, give you all the differences, all these speakers, of course. Where are they made? They're made in China. When I first checked, about 80 quid, 108, $108 for XP23. I mean, for a speaker I cannot recommend at all, under any circumstances at all. Huawei Soundjoy, about 89 quid when I checked. They say 8,800 milliamp hours, but without the voltage. They might as well say anything they want. It has no meaning at all. But if we assume 3.7 volts, it may be 2 volts. I don't know. But if we assume 3.7 volts, 8,800 milliamps, it's a bigger battery than the 2,700 milliamp hour battery at 3.7 volts. Remember, really what they should be telling us is what hours you need to multiply the voltage uh, times the milliamp hours to actually get the real world capacity. And here's the interesting thing. We got to say, Al, what? Yeah, it's Sony, you get LDAC, and that alone makes it worth what? Well, here's the interesting thing. It may well be running on LDAC, but do you know what? It's still only topping out at 250 kilo bits per second. So that's not even, you're not even getting the, the full loveliness of LDAC, because for some reason they, uh, they've not, they're not using all the bit rate that they could possibly get out of that, running at 250 kilobits per second, which is the same as the SBC on the uh, Soundjoy. Bluetooth 5 on the XB23, Bluetooth 5.2 on the Soundjoy, NFC on the Soundjoy only, both do stereo pairing, both have USB-C connections, neither of them have an auxiliary input, both can be used to make phone calls, only the Soundjoy has the incredible Dancing, all singing, oh, it's a bit at the top. So it has lights, the other one doesn't have lights. On paper, that's 30 watts, that's 20 watts, but it's not all about what this, well, it's not all about what they say about the watts, is it? But yes, it does support fast charging. If you, if you need to charge it, it will charge at 40 watts versus seven and a half watts. That's a big difference, about the same in weight, 700 grams versus 600 grams. They are both IPX7 but IP67 for the Soundjoy. That means it's dustproof and waterproof to one meter, 30 minutes. Um, but here's the thing, the Sony XB23 will float if you're going to be in your swimming pool. You're a millionaire, you're at the moment watching me uh, on your phone <laughs> with a waterproof cover. Uh, you're on your pool and you, you've, you've got the Sony XB23 and you're laughing at me saying, well, don't you realize that floats and you can use it. Well, that does float, that's good and that will sink to the bottom of wherever it is and could be lost forever. We talked about the uh, drivers already. Neither of them, in my experience, was good for streaming. 120 seconds on, 120 milliseconds for the XB23 is better than the terrible 225 seconds I get for the Huawei. But my cutoff point is 80 milliseconds and even uh, some of you may, may, will still see lip sync issues. I, I mean, I think that's uh, an acceptable cutoff point, but. Anyway, neither of them are good. There is an app for both of them. My problem with Huawei is it makes you install, if you, yeah, it does make you install for the latest um, app version, a version that is not on the Play Store. So technically um, a non-approved install, that ain't good. And that's the two speakers compared. If, if you had to choose one of them, I would say the, it sounds better. The, Huawei Soundjoy, and they're about the same price. I can't think of a single reason to get the XB23, and that was the case originally. But I can see a lot of people wondering what the difference is between these two. You, you now know that sounds better than that, doesn't make that a great speaker. It says a lot about that Sony, that it makes the Soundjoy sound a really good speaker. And you don't look like me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in another video. This is the end of the video. I got their life. I ain't about that life. I ain't a project wife, got my logic right, cause I'm not your type. I ain't about that life. I ain't about that life. Sorry, my I ain't get it right. I'ma just live my life.